hard question, wherever you personally are in this chain, what are the skills and attitude and knowledge that you need to develop in order to create those feelings? Okay, we just said that at the end of this chain is a result that you want. So at the beginning of the chain are some skills, some knowledge, and some attitudes that you can develop. Then you'll be able to send the right emotions down this chain. So what do you need to develop? Guess what? You need to develop EQ. You need to get smart about feelings. You need to be able to see them and manage them and understand them. So our model of teaching people to do this is pretty simple. It's just three steps. You need to know yourself. You need to pay attention to who you are and what you're feeling and what's driving you. You need to look inward. You need to be honest with yourself. I am feeling some, you know what? Everyone in the room right now, you're all feeling something. Do you know what it is? Really, can you look inward? Just think about it for a moment. Could you tell me three things that you're feeling right now? Can you name them? I'm not gonna ask you, don't worry. Could you name them? Could you understand them? What are three feelings that you have? You're sending emotional messages right now. Did you know that? Right now, you're transmitting. You have an emotional transmitter and it is always on. You're sending emotional messages right now. Do you know what you're sending? Are you aware of it? That's know yourself. Choose yourself is deciding. Hmm, I want to change that. That's not working the way I want it. I want to change it. Or, yeah, that's working well. I want to continue that. So choose yourself is the capacity to redirect that, decide, okay, here's what I need to be doing. And then the third part of the model is the most powerful part, and that's give yourself. And that's deciding where you want to go, and then giving yourself to it. Giving yourself to purpose. Ensuring that the action you take right now, right now, I'm not talking about when you leave this room. I'm not talking about when you go back to work. I'm talking this second. This second, you are making a choice. You're making a choice about what you're thinking, about what you're feeling, attention and energy on. You're making a choice right now. Is that the choice you need to be making? And where is that going? Where are you going with those choices? Do you have that vision? Do you have a purpose? And are you making sure that the small, tiny choices that you make are moving you inch by inch towards that lifelong purpose? That's what Give Yourself is about. And there's specific, learnable, measurable competencies in each of these three areas, and that's what we train people in. And this applies in all kinds of areas of business life, of your day-to-day -day operation, of your organization. But most of all, it applies in terms of leadership. Most of all, it applies in terms of leadership. You have a vision, most organizations do, an overall direction that you're trying to go. But within that, you have all of these people and projects and teams going in different directions. And as a leader, your job is to rally your energy and bring them along so that people are moving together. So that people are moving together someplace worth going. And it starts with you knowing yourself choosing yourself and giving yourself so that you are a leader worth following.